Hey guys, what's up, what's going on? My name is Lauren and I am a junior studying chemical engineering at the University of Rhode Island. A lot of you guys have commented down below in a few of my videos saying you wanna see how I study, what are my study tips, how do I get good grades in engineering classes, all of that fun stuff. So today I thought I'd take you guys along on kind of my study timeline, so what exactly I do to study for an exam. And before we get started, I'm just gonna mention that this video is being sponsored by Brilliant. More on them later. So everything starts with either during the class or directly after each lecture. I know it may seem a bit overwhelming, but yes, I do think that doing something every day is way better than procrastinating and spending all your time studying in the last possible seconds before an exam. So after every lecture or during the lecture, I'm either filling out a Quizlet or a Google Doc. For my memorization heavy classes, I'm usually doing a Quizlet. So as the professor is talking, I'll have the lecture notes on one side of the screen and a Quizlet on the other. I think it really helps me to figure out what questions the professor could ask about certain topics and kind of same thing with the Google Doc. I'm writing down kind of word for word or in my own words what's in the lecture slides or what the professor is saying and that way I kind of have this master list of every note, every PowerPoint lecture. It's all in one spot so when I go to actually start studying for an exam it's all right there. One week out from an exam, what do I do? I'm gonna kind of break this up into two different sections. So I have my memorization heavy classes, and then I have my engineering classes, which are a lot more problem solving, math based. For this purpose, I'm gonna say I have an exam on a Friday, and we're starting a Friday away from that, so the Friday before. For my engineering classes, this is where I'll either ask professors for extra review problems, or if they've already assigned them, I'll start working on them. I'll also take a look at some of the homework problems or any in-class problems we've worked on to really see where I may be lacking content wise, what I need to really work on when I start studying. Also completing these extra problems, starting to review homework and in-class assignments is a great way to just review the content. I find that a lot of the times engineering exams are very similar to what the professor has already assigned in class and for homework. So usually completing those homework and in-class assignments again will give me a good gauge on what exactly will be on the exam. So for my memorization classes, I'm going to use either the Quizlet I was making during the class, or if I don't have a Quizlet yet, I'm going to bring information from the Google Doc I was making into a Quizlet and start the memorization process. I would really say a week out is all about making sure I have some sort of set of flashcards being made for the class. I'm not necessarily trying to commit things to memory, but I find that typing things out or writing things down in this Quizlet format helps to just retain some of the knowledge to begin with. So I really start a week out just very slowly putting things into a flashcard or Quizlet, something like that. Now, over the weekend, I really like to take advantage of not having any classes, I'm not trying to juggle any club meetings, any lab meetings. I can really focus on getting some extra studying time in, and I'm not taking up my whole weekend studying, that's for sure. But at least a couple hours a day, I find really helps. For my engineering classes, this is when I'll start making a crib sheet or like a study sheet. So I'll take every single note that I've taken during the lectures or anything on a PowerPoint and start putting it down onto a handwritten note sheet. This is very time consuming, but I really believe in the correlation between like handwriting and memorization. So I find it really helpful. I put down practice problems, homework problems, lecture notes, definitions, formulas, everything goes onto that one or two pieces of paper. And that way, just like my Google Doc for my memorization heavy classes, I have everything on one or two sheets that I can keep referring back to from now on. This is also a time when I really hone in on topics or concepts that I'm having trouble understanding. So at this point, if I'm writing something down on that study sheet and I realize, ooh, I really don't know how I got to that answer, this is when I'll go back into lecture notes and really try to read up on the concept. Or sometimes I even go to the textbook because sometimes I think a textbook can give you that story, like how you get from point A to point B, and it helps you to connect the different topics that you've learned to help you solve the problem. For me, I find I'm most effective at studying when I can create kind of a story in my head. So usually for an exam, the topics are gonna be related in some way. So if I can find a way to get from one topic to another and it all connects through formulas or through definitions, then I usually feel ready. I usually feel up for the exam. In a similar way, for memorization heavy classes, 
is I take the Quizlet, I take the Google Doc, and I start moving it into a handwritten flowchart. So this is when I'll take big main ideas, big topics, and write their definitions, write how they're related to each other, all in a giant web, giant flowchart. I just did this for my lab quiz in microbiology, and it was super effective. I took the lab titles or different main topics and ideas, and I was able to connect them through the different reagents we used or methods we used. It was really, really effective for me. Now, before I get into what I do a couple days out and the day before an exam, I wanna take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Brilliant. As a chemical engineering major, I love it when I can delve into a new STEM subject, and I truly believe that Brilliant.org is the best way to learn concepts in math, computer science, engineering, and more. I absolutely love Brilliant because they have thousands of interactive lessons that help to break down difficult topics into easily digestible parts. Brilliant makes learning more like a game with fun features that let you challenge yourself and compete with others. I personally love that I have access to Brilliant everywhere I go. It's on my phone, laptop, and tablet. So I can jump on a 15 minute lesson in a cafe or in between a couple of classes. It's an amazing supplement to my engineering and pharmacy classes, and I'm so happy I started learning with them. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Lauren Abbey or click the top link in the description. Along with the free 30 days to try it out, the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. You have nothing to lose and knowledge to gain. Go check it out. Now, a couple days out, things really start getting serious. For engineering, this can kind of vary. A lot of the times, and more recently, I found that my professors have allowed us to bring in a study sheet with us. So the study sheet I was talking about before that I usually complete the weekend before an exam, I can just take that into the exam with me. So I don't necessarily have to focus on memorizing exact formulas and concepts. I just have to make sure I have a general idea of what the exam's gonna be on. But if I do have to memorize some content, this is when I'll take the time a few days out to highlight any formulas, any main ideas, any problem solving steps that I need to commit to memory. I find that taking it in 15 minutes every day, 30 minutes every day, leading up to the exam is a great way to commit that to your long-term memory. And either way, if I'm bringing the study sheet into the exam with me or I'm trying to memorize the content, I'll take that study sheet and start highlighting everything that I find more important. For my memorization classes, this is very similar. So I'll take the flow chart I created and highlight all the main topics and ideas. And as I'm going through this, I kind of quiz myself, test myself. I'll see if I can figure out how each main topic relates to the other. So the day before, there's nothing really that new. At this point, I've been studying starting from a week out pretty seriously. So I'm not really cramming any ideas or concepts. I have a general idea of what the exam is gonna be about and nothing new is gonna pop out at me. So for my engineering classes, I'm using that same study sheet, making sure I have formulas memorized if need be. You've heard me say this a million times now, but that's seriously what I have to do. If I find it necessary, and I recently did this with my heat transfer exam, I went in and made another study sheet. So I crammed a double-sided sheet into a single-sided sheet, and I found that was really, really helpful to hone in on the main topics and ideas that were gonna be on that exam. Memorization classes, I'm just repeating those same steps that I did a few days out. I've highlighted everything at this point, so no more highlighting, but I'm going over those main topics. I'm making sure I know how everything connects and that I pretty much know every definition for the terms that are highlighted. So as you guys can see from this timeline, I really try not to procrastinate. Like I was saying before, I really believe in putting in a little bit of time each day, starting from when you receive the lecture material, it just makes it way less overwhelming and you're able to really remember the information better. I don't know, I get really anxious for exams and I find that this is the best way for me to ensure that I'm not as worried that I forgot something or forgot to study something. This is just the method that I found works for me. I should also note, the night before, I am not cramming until 2 a.m., making sure I go over everything a million times. I'm getting into bed by 10 p.m., like at the latest, making sure I get at least eight hours of sleep, get a good breakfast in before the exam, and I usually try to work out, get in some exercise, either a run or a lift, something to sweat a little bit, move a little bit. I find that that really helps with getting rid of any anxious energy so that when I sit down, pencil in hand for that exam, I'm ready to go. That was kind of my study timeline, how I get ready for an exam. I'm planning on doing a little more general video on my top study tips 
for engineering classes or for memorization classes. So if you guys are interested in that, please leave a comment down below and I will definitely get on that. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please visit the top link in the description if you guys are interested in checking out brilliant.org. I highly recommend. With that, I hope you're staying happy, staying healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one.